deep blue waters of the Aegean Sea, the whitewashed buildings of Santorini, and the serene sunsets paint a picture of tranquility. But beneath this paradise lies a sleeping giant, one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. The Santorini caldera has erupted with catastrophic force before, and now new signs of activity suggest that history may be repeating itself. Could this volcanic awakening trigger a tsunami powerful enough to reshape the Mediterranean coastline? Today, we dive deep into the heart of this mystery, uncovering the explosive past of the Santorini volcano and the terrifying potential of what lies ahead. Stay with us as we explore the scientific warnings, the devastating impact of past eruptions, and what a future eruption could mean for the millions who call the Mediterranean home. If you're fascinated by Earth's raw power and hidden dangers, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest discovery. The Santorini Volcano, a sleeping giant awakens. Santorini's volcanic origins date back thousands of years, forming the breathtaking archipelago we know today. But what many don't realize is that this seemingly peaceful island is the remnant of one of the most powerful eruptions in human history. The Minoan eruption around 1600 BCE devastated ancient civilizations and sent shockwaves across the Mediterranean. The eruption is believed to have caused the collapse of the Minoan civilization, altering the course of history. This catastrophic event covered Santorini in ash, reshaped its geography, and created the caldera we see today. Despite centuries of relative dormancy, the Santorini volcano remains an active system. Today, seismic activity and underwater disturbances indicate that the volcano is stirring once more. Geologists have observed increased ground deformation, rising gas emissions, and unusual thermal anomalies. These signals suggest that magma movement is occurring beneath the surface. But what exactly does that mean? Could we be witnessing the prelude to another cataclysmic event? Scientists are closely monitoring these warning signs using satellite imaging, GPS sensors, and geochemical analyses to determine the likelihood of an eruption. While some experts believe a minor eruption could occur within our lifetime, others warn that the potential for a major explosive event cannot be ignored. The science behind volcanic eruptions in the Aegean. Volcanoes are more than just mountains that spew lava. They are complex geological systems fueled by immense pressure from beneath the Earth's crust. The Santorini caldera, a submerged volcanic crater, is part of the Hellenic Arc, a zone of intense tectonic activity where the African and Eurasian plates collide. This tectonic convergence creates a subduction zone where one plate sinks beneath the other, generating heat and melting rock to form magma. Over time, this magma accumulates in underground chambers, gradually building up pressure until the Earth's crust can no longer contain it. The resulting eruption can vary in intensity from slow lava flows to violent explosion. What makes Santorini especially dangerous is the combination of water and magma. When magma interacts with seawater, it rapidly cools, generating steam and pressure. This volatile mix can lead to explosive eruptions and underwater detonations capable of triggering tsunamis. Furthermore, Santorini's history of eruptions reveals a pattern of periodic activity with significant events occurring every few centuries. Geologists are analyzing past eruption cycles to predict when the next one might occur and how severe it could be. By studying gas emission, seismic tremors, and heat fluxes, researchers aim to develop accurate forecasting models to provide early warnings. Could the next eruption cause a Mediterranean tsunami? One of the greatest fears surrounding a Santorini eruption is the potential for a devastating tsunami. The Minoan eruption unleashed massive waves that ravaged coastal settlements, and modern simulations suggest that another eruption of similar magnitude could send towering waves toward Greece, Turkey, and beyond. The collapse of volcanic structures into the sea, known as a caldera collapse, is one of the primary mechanisms that could generate a tsunami. Such an event would displace enormous volumes of water, creating waves that travel across the Mediterranean at high speed. How far could a tsunami travel? Could major cities like Athens, Istanbul, 
or Alexandria be at risk, scientists are using computational models to estimate wave propagation patterns and assess potential impact zones. Historical records provide clues about past tsunamis, while modern monitoring systems track real-time oceanographic changes. The goal is to improve early warning systems and preparedness strategies for coastal communities. The Mediterranean is home to many densely populated coastal regions, making the threat of a tsunami particularly concerning. Infrastructure, tourism, and economies could face severe disruption in the event of a major eruption. Governments and disaster response agencies are working on contingency plans to mitigate risks, including emergency evacuation protocols and structural reinforcements. While the timeline for the next eruption remains uncertain, understanding the science behind Santorini's volcanic activity is crucial for protecting lives and livelihoods in the region. The warning signs. What's happening right now? The Earth is always whispering its secrets, and those who know how to listen can hear the warning signs before disaster strikes. In recent years, satellite imagery, seismic reading, and gas emissions have all pointed to increased activity beneath Santorini. Swarms of small earthquakes, shifts in land elevation, and rising temperatures in the caldera's waters suggest that pressure is building. But how much time do we have? Is this a false alarm? Or should Mediterranean nations start preparing for the worst? The warning signs are not limited to minor tremor. Changes in the chemical composition of gas emissions from fumarole indicate that magma is moving closer to the surface. Thermal imaging has revealed hot spots where heat is escaping at an increased rate. Scientists monitoring these changes warn that a significant eruption could occur within years or even months. Volcanologists point to historical patterns, noting that previous major eruptions were preceded by similar signs. The big question remains, will the current activity culminate in a full-scale eruption or will it subside as it has in the past? Local authorities are already on high alert, developing emergency response plans and conducting evacuation drills. The Greek government is working with international geological agencies to monitor the situation closely. However, tourism continues as usual, with many visitors unaware of the brewing threat beneath their feet. If Santorini were to erupt, thousands of tourists could be stranded, and local populations would face the challenge of evacuating quickly. Understanding the risk factors and taking preventive measures is crucial for minimizing potential devastation. The devastating impact on Greece and beyond. If Santorini erupts, the consequences will extend far beyond the island itself. The Greek economy, heavily reliant on tourism, could suffer a massive blow. Evacuations, disrupted air travel, and damage to infrastructure could create chaos across the region. Coastal cities across Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East could face flooding, power outages, and food shortages in the wake of a tsunami. What would life look like in the aftermath of such a disaster? A large-scale eruption could result in widespread devastation across Greece. The island of Santorini itself may become uninhabitable for years due to thick layers of volcanic ash covering the landscape. Agricultural activity on the mainland could be disrupted as airborne ash can contaminate soil and water supplies. Airports and seaports across the Aegean region might be forced to close severely affecting trade and transportation. The tourism sector, a vital pillar of the Greek economy, would be among the hardest hit. With iconic sites buried under ash and uncertainty surrounding future eruption, visitors may steer clear of Greece for years. The financial burden of reconstruction, coupled with declining tourism revenue, could push the country into an economic crisis. Beyond Greece, the Mediterranean region as a whole would face serious challenges. Tsunamis generated by the eruption could reach as far as Italy, Turkey, and even parts of North Africa, causing loss of life and destruction along coastlines. Airborne ash could disrupt air travel across Europe, leading to airport closures and flight cancellations, similar to those experienced after the 2010 Ejafjallajökull eruption in Iceland. Health risks from inhaling volcanic ash would also be a major concern, particularly for vulnerable populations. Governments across the Mediterranean 
must prepare for this possibility by developing coordinated disaster response strategies. Emergency response teams, early warning systems, and international cooperation will be crucial in mitigating the effects of a Santorini eruption. Learning from past disasters can help nations build resilience against this looming threat. The role of ancient legends and modern fears. Myths often contain grains of truth, and Santorini's eruptions have long been linked to legends of lost civilization. Some historians believe that the destruction of Santorini may have inspired the story of Atlantis, a mighty island swallowed by the sea. But today, these ancient fears are resurfacing in a modern context. Social media is flooded with speculation and conspiracy theory. Could history be repeating itself? Or are we simply more aware of nature's dangers than our ancestors ever were? Ancient records describe catastrophic events associated with volcanic eruptions, including fire raining from the sky, monstrous waves, and cities disappearing beneath the sea. The Minoan civilization, which flourished on the island of Crete, suffered a sudden decline following the massive eruption of Santorini around 1600 BCE. Some scholars argue that the disaster wiped out key Minoan settlements, leading to the eventual downfall of their civilization. Modern scientific methods allow us to analyze these historical disasters with greater precision. Geological evidence confirms that the Minoan eruption produced one of the largest tsunamis in recorded history. By studying ash layers, lava flows, and ancient ruins, researchers gain valuable insights into how past eruptions shaped the region. These findings help scientists predict the possible effects of future eruption, reinforcing the need for preparedness. Meanwhile, popular culture continues to fuel speculation about Santorini's link to Atlantis. From documentaries to online forums, theories about hidden underwater cities and ancient warnings captivate audiences worldwide. While some claims are purely speculative, they highlight humanity's long-standing fascination with natural disasters and their impact on civilization. Myths, after all, serve as cautionary tales passed down through generations. As the world watches for signs of another catastrophic eruption, it is important to separate fact from fiction. Advances in technology and scientific research provide us with tools our ancestors lacked. By combining historical knowledge with modern monitoring techniques, we can better understand Santorini's volcanic activity and prepare for potential outcome. The challenge lies in balancing scientific analysis with public perception, ensuring that fear does not lead to panic, but rather to informed action. What can be done to prepare? If Santorini's volcano is truly waking up, what can be done to minimize the devastation? Disaster preparedness plans are in place, but are they enough? Evacuation routes, early warning systems, and emergency response protocol are being reassessed. But is it possible to truly be ready for a disaster of this scale? With thousands of people living in Santorini and millions more at risk across the Mediterranean, governments must act fast. One of the key aspects of preparation is improving monitoring technology. Scientists are deploying more sophisticated instruments to measure ground deformation, gas emissions, and seismic activity in real time. These monitoring tools allow for earlier detection of changes that might indicate an impending eruption. However, despite these technological advancements, the unpredictable nature of volcanic activity makes it difficult to establish an exact timeline for potential eruption. Another critical factor is public awareness and education, ensuring that both residents and tourists are well informed about volcanic risks and evacuation procedures is crucial. Drills and training sessions should be conducted regularly so that people know how to respond in case of an emergency. The local government and civil protection agencies must also communicate effectively with the public to avoid panic and misinformation. Infrastructure improvements are also essential. Reinforcing buildings, bridges, and transportation networks can help reduce damage in the event of an eruption. Establishing well-planned evacuation routes and shelters can further increase the chances of saving lives. In addition, international collaboration is necessary as volcanic eruption can have widespread effects beyond local communities. Neighboring countries must coordinate efforts in disaster response and relief to ensure 
that affected populations receive aid quickly. Despite all these measures, the reality remains that no plan is foolproof. The challenge lies in balancing economic considerations, such as tourism, with the need for safety. Santorini relies heavily on tourism, and implementing strict safety measures could impact the local economy. Striking the right balance is crucial to ensuring both safety and economic stability. Could this be a false alarm? Not every sign of volcanic activity leads to a massive eruption. Some experts believe that Santorini's current unrest may subside without a major incident. So, should we be alarmed? Or is this simply a natural fluctuation in geological activity? Volcanology is not an exact science, and predicting eruptions remains one of the greatest challenges in geoscience. But given the stakes, can we afford to ignore the warning sign? Volcanoes can go through active phases without necessarily leading to an eruption. Increased seismic activity, ground swelling, and gas emissions may indicate magma movement beneath the surface, but this does not always mean an explosion is imminent. Scientists must analyze multiple data points over extended periods to determine whether the situation is truly dangerous or just part of a natural cycle. One of the biggest challenges is distinguishing between normal volcanic behavior and a precursor to a major event. Santorini's caldera has experienced periods of increased activity before, most notably in 2011 to 2012, when the island saw heightened seismic and geothermal activity. However, no eruption occurred at that time. This raises the question, is the current activity another false alarm or is this time different? Skeptics argue that while the island is showing signs of unrest, there is no definitive evidence that an eruption is imminent. They point to historical patterns where similar volcanic signals have occurred without leading to a catastrophic event. However, others caution that ignoring the warning signs could be disastrous. Ultimately, it comes down to risk assessment. While scientists continue to study the data, authorities must prepare for the worst case scenario. Even if this proves to be a false alarm, taking precautionary measures now ensures that Santorini and surrounding regions are better prepared for any future volcanic activity. The question remains, how much risk are we willing to take? Conclusion, what do you think? The Santorini volcano remains a ticking time bomb beneath the Aegean Sea. Whether it erupts next year, in a decade, or remains dormant for another century, one thing is certain, Earth's forces are unpredictable, and history has a way of repeating itself. The question isn't if it will erupt again, but when, and how prepared we are when that moment arrives. Santorini's last major eruption, known as the Minoan eruption, reshaped the landscape, collapsed civilizations, and potentially inspired legends like Atlantis. If a similar event were to occur today, the consequences would be devastating. Thousands of residents and tourists would need to be evacuated, and the economic impact on Greece's tourism industry would be catastrophic. A large-scale eruption could trigger tsunamis, affecting not just Greece, but also neighboring countries like Turkey, Italy, and even Egypt. The disruption to air travel, marine ecosystems, and global weather patterns could last for years. Yet, despite these dangers, Santorini continues to thrive as one of the most visited destinations in the world. Its stunning whitewashed buildings, perched dramatically over the caldera, attract millions of visitors who often don't realize they are walking atop one of the most active volcanic regions in Europe. Scientists closely monitor the volcano's activity through GPS measurements, gas emissions, and seismic readings. While no immediate signs point to an eruption, history reminds us that nature often gives little warning before disaster strikes. What do you think? Do you believe Santorini poses an immediate threat? Or do you trust in modern monitoring systems to give enough advance warning? If you lived in a tsunami-prone region, what emergency plans would you have in place? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your opinions in the comments below and let us know what fascinates or worries you the most. And don't forget, if you love uncovering Earth's greatest mysteries, like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on more incredible discoveries and hidden wonders from around the world. Hit the bell icon so you never miss our next adventure.